What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Miss Flips. In today's episode, we are going to be editing this photo right here and we are going to be doing it in Photoshop using AI. So without further ado, let's get flipping. So Photoshop is not the most affordable thing. It's not like crazy unaffordable, but it's not something like Canva or any of those other apps that you can do on your phone. You have to actually invest some time into getting to know it and some money for the subscriptions and all that. But I will say you are going to get results in this app that you cannot get with any of the mobile versions of photo editors. So today's tutorial is going to be all about taking a photo and a staging wall and turning it into something completely different. So if you have a garage set up like I do, I don't want to put all this time and energy into putting a flooring down or putting up props. I, I'm just not into that. I don't like staging my stuff. I, I don't know why, but I just don't. So if you're like me and you want to do it the lazy way, Photoshop is your guy. So obviously the first step is to get Photoshop onto your computer. But once that is done, we are going to go over and select this tool right here. And then we're going to go object select and then we're going to drag it across our piece of furniture and that'll automatically it should select the majority of the piece if not the entire piece depending on the angle and then we're going to switch over to this tool right here make sure you have the plus version selected in this top corner here and then we're going to select all of the bits of the furniture that were not selected originally and then once you have everything on here selected you're going to hit this little button right here for you and that is going to select all of the area around the piece instead of the piece itself. Then we're going to click generate and we are going to type in whatever we want. So this can be literally anything you want and you know AI will generate crazy backgrounds for you but uh we're gonna go with something simple and uh just try it out see see what works and this again you can do anything you want so if you want like uh tile if you want rugs if you want uh windows and curtains and all that it'll come up with it just like that it's magic so as you can see, this one's kind of got a lot going on here. The edges aren't smooth. It included this thing from the garage. So we're going to go over and check out our other options that we have. And this one's okay too, but luckily the program gives you three different options. Eh, I'm not a big fan of that one either. So far I like this one the best, I think. So we are going to click on that and you can do this however many times you want. You can change the instructions on it. You can do any anything and it'll come up with new things every single time and you can do this until you find one that you like or one that is something that you can put time into making perfect it's getting a little chilly in here <laughs> anyways Let's use this photo as an example. So I am going to do the exact same thing I did last time, select the item, and then it's going to change the background. And I'm working with several different options. I'm working with this one, this one, and then we're also working on this one, but it has this pesky little thing that it added in the back. So in order to make it perfect, we're going to start by merging these two layers. And we're going to do that by pressing shift, clicking both layers, and then you're going to merge layers. And cue costume and day change. For editing this photo, we are gonna kind of do this in like the lazy patch job kind of way, just because it's for Instagram and it's not necessarily for like a magazine or a print or anything like that. It's not gonna be blown up to be on a billboard or anything. So we're not worried about making it too perfect, or at least I'm not. So I'm gonna go in with this band-aid tool right here and we're just gonna patch up this weird awkward spot. So with this band-aid tool, it essentially copies anything that you option click on and then it puts that over the area that you drag it over. So we're gonna press option click and drag it over this lower area. And for the higher area, I'm gonna click on the lighter shade of the beige and go over that. And then we're gonna come over to our paintbrush tool and we're gonna try to fix this leg, making sure that our opacity and flow are up to 100. 
and we are just going to option click on the color that we want and then we're going to drag it up as if it were going up to meet the rest of the table trying to make it look like one cohesive leg then to just do some final touch-ups we're going to bring our flow back to like two or three and then we're going to go over this weird shadowy area making sure to option click on the lighter area and that way we just get rid of that awkward shadow and make it look a little bit more fine-tuned and we're gonna take a step back and we're gonna take a look and this is pretty good I'm pretty happy with it so here is a reminder of what we started with and here is a side-by-side -side showing what we ended with. It just looks so much more professional and polished, and I think that a buyer would be way more likely to buy the version on the right versus the version on the left. AI is chaotic as hell. You can literally come up with any background that you want. However, if you are looking to keep something a little bit more professional and a little more cohesive, I recommend having your go-to keywords that you put into the AI generator. For example, for me, I always go with a beige wall, wood floors, maybe occasionally a plant or a window, and then a beige curtain. And that makes sure that throughout all of my photos, no matter if the backgrounds are different, I still have that through line with my colors and my theme kind of being the same every time rather than just being in your messy garage. Anyways, I hope that you guys found this video useful and if you have any more questions about editing or AI or anything like that, please let me know in the comments and I will do my best to answer them as accurately as possible. Make sure to like and subscribe and do all those things so that we can stay a flippin' family and until next time, stay flippin'.